Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to answer a learning task on integral and zero exponents. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, let's start. This is learning task 2 of integral and zero exponents. So here, we're going to write these expressions into a single value, okay, without exponents, okay? Okay, let's do it quickly. So for number 1, we have, okay, so we're going to write first um, this expression without negative exponents, how are we going to do that? Like 2 raised to negative 2. It becomes 1 over 2 squared. Right? And then times 3 raised to negative 1. It becomes 1 over 3. Okay? Or 3 raised to 1. Pero kapag 1 nga, you just ignore it. Okay? So that's why you only have 3 in the denominator. Then that's it. Okay, what is 2 squared? That is 2 times 2. So you have 1 over 4 times 1 over 3. Okay, equals. Now, how do you multiply fractions? You multiply the numerators. So that's 1 times 1. You'll get 1 over. And then you multiply the denominators. So what is 4 times 3? You get 12. So, 1 over 12, that's the final answer. This is the single value equal to this expression. Alright? Okay, let's continue. Okay, number 2. What is 10 to the 0? It is 1. Right? And then I will copy 10 here. I you know. Okay? So, what is 1 plus 10? 11. See? It's easy. Right? Okay, let's do more. Here, what is 6 raised to 0? It is 1, right? So, I'll have 4 times 1, you'll get 4. So, I have 4 here, okay? And then, plus 3 times, how do you write 3 to the negative 1 without negative exponent? It becomes 1 over 3. So, this is equal to, you see, this will cancel out. Right? Okay, so that's why you have 4 plus 1. Okay? Equals 5. Okay? Okay. Next number. Okay, we write everything without negative exponent. Okay? So, we'll have 1 over 5, that's for 5 raised to negative 1, okay? Minus 2 to the negative 3, it is 1 over 2 raised to 3, okay? If you continue, we have 1 over 5 minus, what is 2 cube? It's 2 times 2 times 2, so you'll get 8. So you have 1 over... 8 here, okay? And then, we combine these fractions, okay? Since wala namang common factor and denominator, we can use the butterfly method, okay? So, ganito lang yon. Multiply nyo lang to, what do you get? 8 times 1, you get 8. And then, minus 5 times 1, you'll get 5, Okay? Over, eto, 8 times 5, you will get 40, okay? So, if you subtract this, you will get 3, and then you copy the denominator. It is 3 over 40, okay? What about number 5? What is 12 raised to 0? 12 raised to 0 is... 1, right? So, you have here 1 raised to negative 10, okay? What is the answer here? Actually, it is 
1. Kasi if you want to write this without negative exponent, it becomes like this. 1 over 1 raised to positive 10. Right? Oh, what is 1 raised to positive 10? Okay, it's 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 until you reach 10 na 1. Okay, so the answer is 1, right? So 1 over 1, it is 1. Okay? And then 1 raised to any number, 1 raised to 0, 1 raised to 1 million, 1 raised to negative 100. Okay, it is always equal to 1. Alright? Okay. Okay, let's have this. Um, 2 raised to 4 plus 2 raised to negative 2. Okay. What is 2 raised to 4? So, it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, you will get 16. Right? And then, how do you write this without negative exponent? It's 1 over 2 squared. Right? So, if you continue... You're going to have 16 plus 1 fourth. Because 2 squared is 4. Okay? So this is equal to 16 and 1 fourth. So this is the mixed form. Kung gusto nyo, gawin tong improper fraction, pwede naman. So you do like 16 times 4 and then plus 1. Okay? So, what is the answer? So, let me do here. What is 16 times 4? What do you get? 64. Right? So, you will have 16 times 4, 64 plus 1, 65. So, you have 65 over 4 here. Okay? So, pwede ito. Pwede rin ito. Okay? Okay, let's do more. Ito. You do not evaluate this. Okay? Itong 5 then plus 5 raised to negative 2. Wag na. Kasi tingnan nyo, oh, you have 0 outside. So, itong buong to, this is just equal to 1. Okay? And then, 1 times this, ito na lang isisimplify ninyo. Okay? So, 6 raised to 0 is equal to? 1. Right? So, that's why you have here, this is equal to, eto 1 na lang to, right? So, you have 1 times, okay, this 1, it's equal to 1. So, 1 plus 6, right? Raised to negative 2. Okay? So, if you continue, let me write here, okay? 1 times this, edi eto na lang. Okay? You can ignore the number 1 here, okay? What is 1 plus 6? 7, okay? And it is raised to negative 2, okay? If you simplify further, how do you write this without negative exponent? It is 1 over 7 squared, right? And what is 7 squared? 49. So that's why the answer is 1 over 49, okay? That's the answer. Okay? Let's move on to number 8. Okay? 2 raised to 0? 1. Right? What is 3 cubed? It's 3 times 3? 9. 9 times 3? 27. Okay? Easy peasy. Okay, next number. You should be happy when you see a 0 exponent. Kasi, madali siyang isimplify. Okay? Kasi equal yun sa 1, di ba? Okay, ang hindi lang naman um, okay na naka-raise sa 0 ay 0. Because 0 raised to 0 is indeterminate. Okay? Pero other than that, anything, any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, kagaya nito, this is equal to 1. So, you only have 5 times 1. So, the answer here is 5. Okay? Okay. What about this one? Okay? So, let's write 10 to the negative 3 without negative exponent. So, this becomes 
1 over 10 cube. Right? Okay. And then, pwede naman natin itong gawing multiplication. Okay? Kapag ginawa kong multiplication, I will get the reciprocal of 10 cube. What do I mean by that? Diba ito ay 10 cube over 1? Okay? Diba? So, ang reciprocal ng 10 cube over 1 is 1 over 10 cube. Okay? So, that's why you'll have 1 over what is 10 cube times 10 cube. O, diba? Same ang base. Kapag same ang base, you copy the base. So, that's 10. And then, you add the exponents. What is 3 plus 3? 6. Right? So, your answer is, pwede na to, actually, or, kung gusto nyong expand yun, yung 10 raised to 6, anim na zeros ang ibig sabihin. So, you'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, how are you so far? Nakakasunod ba kayo? Okay? So, if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. You may want to share this video to your friends also. Okay? Okay, let's continue. Okay, so these are the last five examples. Okay? Let's do it. Okay, equals. Okay? How are we going to write this without negative exponent? Diba? Tataas lang siya dito. Okay? So you're going to have um, negative 4 raised to positive 3. Okay? Nakita nyo ha, hindi nawawala ang negative na ito. Yung exponent lang ang mawawala ang negative. Okay? So, you evaluate. What is negative 4? So, this means negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. Okay? So, what do you get? What is negative 4 times negative 4? Positive 16. Positive 16 times negative 4, you will get negative 64. Alright? Okay, let's do more. Here. Okay. Etong 7 raised to negative 2, to make it with positive exponent, Um, etong 7 raised to negative 2, para maging positive ang exponent niya, we move this in the denominator. So, parang ganito. So, dito pupunta ang 7 squared. Positive na yung exponent niya. Tapos, itong 4 raised to negative 1, para maging positive ang exponent niya, mumove naman siya sa taas. Okay? So, that's why we have here 4 raised to positive 1. Okay? So, if you simplify further, what is 4 raised to 1? It's 4. Okay? What is 7 squared? So, that's 7 times 7. You will get 49. Alright? Okay. Here. Sino ang may negative exponent? Ito. Paano nyo gagawin yan na positive yung exponent? Mag-move lang siya sa taas. Right? So, it becomes 9 times 2 raised to positive 1. Okay? And what is 9 times 2? It is 18. Alright? Okay. What about number 14? Yay! Merong zero exponent. Kasi that means, ito ay 1 lamang. Okay? So, you only have 8 raised to negative 2. Okay? Kasi you can just ignore this. Okay? So, what is 8 raised to negative 2? How are you going to write it without negative exponent? Ganito. 1 over 8 raised to 2. Diba? But what is 8 squared? That's 8 times 8. It is 64. So that's why you have 1 over 64. Okay? Okay. So finally, we have this last example. Okay? You have a fraction. Yeah? Okay? Raised to a negative exponent. Okay? Sige nga. If you recall, how are we going to write this with positive exponent? 
Okay? Paano? Anong gagawin nyo sa fraction kapag naka-raise sa negative exponent and you want to make it a positive exponent? Ang gagawin nyo lang, you switch the numerator and the denominator. So, that's why you have 5 over 3. Okay? Raise to positive 2. Okay? And then, we simplify. It means 5 squared... You distribute the exponent. So, you have 5 squared over 3 squared. Okay? You distribute this exponent here in the numerator and in the denominator. Okay? What is 5 squared? 25. What is 3 squared? 9. Okay? So, this is the final answer. Okay? I think that's it. Okay? So, please like and share this video if you want me to do more videos like this. Okay? Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.